Okay, we are in the main entrance lobby right now. This is where the main fire alarm panel is located. There's no enunciator panel or sub signal device. This is the only area where you can read anything from the enter phone or a fire alarm panel, sorry. Um, the fire alarm basic function is uh, there's kind of two states. There's a trouble and an alarm. A trouble will occur if somebody uh, closes any of the sprinkler valves. Then you'll, uh, trouble will arise saying that the water is shut off. Uh, the initiating devices that cause alarms are smoke detectors, flows, so if there's any flow in the sprinkler system, you'll get an alarm. The duct detectors, there's two duct detectors located in the attic, um, or of course a pull station. Any of those will cause a, a, an alarm state. Um, trouble will just be caused by uh, one of the well, sprinkler valves being turned off, and that's referred to as a tamper. And anything else is the alarm mode, right? Anything else is the alarm mode. Or if there's, say, a problem with the wiring, if anybody removes the device, you'll get a trouble. Or if they will that show up so we can go up and beat on them? Uh, yes. <laughs> Good. Good. Edwards, sprinkler system. There's the number right on the fire alarm panel for their contact information. It's also the maintenance manual. Um, they do any servicing of the fire alarm panel. So if there's any problems, um, Edwards has to be involved. Mm -hmm. Essentially, our scope of our scope of work is all of the wiring and installation of the devices, and then they come in, and we work together to do a verification to verify that all the devices are working properly, and they do they handle all of the program. Okay. okay.